Um, it's a European company. The good thing about this is it offers a really large uh, noose. Um, the downside, it also has a quick release mechanism so that the animal cannot get tang tangled up in it. Um, the downside to this um, one is as soon as you're done pulling it, it's not spring loaded unlike the other ones. Um, so as soon as you're done, um, if you miss, you have to stick your foot inside and then pull backwards to redo it. It's a nice pull. It's a nice concept. It's got heavy grips though. They are hard plastic. Um, the um, pole is it's uh, lasted quite a while and I definitely like like this even though it does not have a spring. The other control pole we're using is going to be a uh, ACES or Humanic control pole. Um, we've not had a lot of good luck with, with these. Um, it does feature a spring loaded mechanism. It is nice, um, it has a nice weight to it, um, and it also does have a quick release mechanism. The biggest problem with, with this is that. The difference between the, the two handles is some in the field you sometimes will pull back on this thinking you're getting a hold of it and you will release the dog. It's happened to me at least two different times. Um, these also have a tendency to bend and they also have a tendency to with, with this um, instant release um, it tends to snap after a while. Um, we went through about four of them in a very short amount of time. Uh, the final one we're going to be discussing is Ketchel. Uh, this is a five foot control pole. It has a swivel head on it. It's spring loaded. And they did create a new function where it does have an instant release mechanism to it. I mean, it's a little bit different than the other ones, um, in which the other ones w drops it. Um, this one you actually have to push it open. It's, it's really difficult to accidentally uh, release an animal on, on this, this one. But I, I do like this one a lot. Thank you.